Hello, this is Mighty Owl. These two friends are so lucky to live right next door to one another. They can even see each other from their bedroom windows. <laughs> but it looks like they're having a hard time hearing one another. I wonder if there is a simple way to fix that without using modern technology. I know what you're thinking, mighty friends. No cell phones. All right, then. Let's gather some materials and see what we can come up with. We'll create our own way to help these friends talk to one another. And here's how. Grab the following supplies. Two paper or plastic cups, tape, scissors, and string or twine. We'll create a simple phone out of just these items. But first, I suggest you ask an adult to poke a hole with the scissors into the bottom of each cup. Next, we'll need to cut the string about 10 feet long. That should be enough to go from your head to the floor and then back again. Let's put the end of the string through the hole in the bottom of one cup and the other end through the hole in the other cup. We'll tie a knot in the string and use a piece of tape to make sure the string does not fall out of the cup. Now, we're ready to try our phone out. <gasps> it looks like it's working. The sound of the voice is traveling through the string and to the other friend's ear. <laughs> awesome, right? Here's a cool story for you. The telephone is a similar invention. Alexander Graham Bell invented an electric telephone that allowed people to talk to one another, even if they were miles away. At first, the phones had to be connected directly to one another, sort of like the string phones that we just made. Over time, telephones were improved and allowed us to talk to people who were very far away, even across an entire country or ocean. Would you believe that there's a way to communicate with others using just dots and dashes? Seems like a very complicated code, right? Well, that's exactly what the Morse code is. The dashes and dots show the letters in the alphabet. When a message is sent by Morse code, each dot is a short click or flash of light, and dashes are longer clicks or flashes. In fact, ships still use lights to send Morse code messages. And speaking of ships, let's explore another form of communication that helps keep ships safe. It sure is dark out here on the ocean at night. Boats must have a hard time staying safe when it's this hard to see. The lighthouse is working to keep these boats safe. See? It shines its light here to warn ships and boats that there are rocks and shallow water in this area. The light is communicating to the boat that they need to stay away from that part of the ocean. The light can be seen from far away, so boats all around are able to stay safe. What an amazing way to keep boats safe. Ooh, take a look here. Recess time is about to be over, but the kids are scattered all over the playground. Some are playing in the field. Others are jumping rope on the blacktop. How can the teachers get everyone's attention and let them know that it's time to line up and go back into the school? They could walk around and tell each student that recess is over, but that would take a very long time they will need to communicate with all of the students at once. They could use a loud sound to do this. A whistle is a great way to communicate with people who are not close to you. The sound travels a long distance, much further than our voices. The teacher can blow the whistle to get everyone's attention and signal that it's time to go in. Lifeguards at a pool... Use whistles to communicate with swimmers in a similar way. If a swimmer is not following the pool rules, they can blow their whistle to get their attention and let them know. They can also get the attention of other lifeguards using their whistle. Today, we created a very simple way of communicating with some string and two cups. <laughs> the sound of our voices traveled along the string. But we also learned that there are many other ways that we can send information to other people. The telephone was an invention that changed the way we communicate forever.
Ships rely on lighthouses and messages sent in Morse code to stay safe. You might even hear a whistle at the pool or at school, sending you a message from afar. So go on, mighty scholars. Think about a new way of communicating and try it out with your friends. Until next time.